special triangles. Now, special triangles are a way of remembering things like tan 30 degrees, tan 60, cosine 60, etc. Now, we might want to know these things, but without using a calculator. Now, you can just try and remember them all off by heart, but if you're like me, I actually find that quite difficult to do. And if you misremember something, you'll never know that you've misremembered. Now, the best mathematicians actually like maths because there's not much to remember. They understand the maths involved. Now to start with, I'm gonna construct a triangle. I'm gonna construct a equilateral triangle, right? So we're gonna look at the equilateral triangle first of all. So my equilateral triangle is gonna be, watch, I've got here, I've got six bamboo canes, all of the same length. Right, so here we go. The perfect equilateral triangle. Now if you notice, one, two, what do we know? I said it, so we've got side lengths of two. So that's two, 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 two. Why, you may ask. What else do we know? 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. Okay, how is this going to be useful? Because trigonometry, our Sokotoa, is about right angle triangles. So we're going to make a right angle triangle. Here we go. So we can construct them together. If I put a perpendicular in here, go to the top. Now this one, slightly less. This height here is going to be a little bit less than two. Now we've got a right angle triangle just here. I've also got exactly the same triangle over on this side. 60 degrees, 30 degrees, right angle, 1, 2. This triangle might be a little bit confusing, so let's make it disappear. Right, let's focus on this triangle. What do we know again? 1, 2, Right angle, 60, 30. I wish I knew the length of this side. It's not quite two, it's more than one. Pythagoras. Ah, the square of this, this the hypotenuse. Take away the square of this side. So two squared is four. Take away one squared, it's three. So this side must be the square root of 3. How's that going to be useful? 60 degrees. Let's think about our soccer tower. We label the side, so I'm referring to this angle. I know the length of each side. 1, 2, root 3. 60 degrees. Opposite. Adjacent. Hypotenuse. So for example, if I want to do, let's say, the sine of 60, the sine of 60, so ka toa. So that's the opposite, root 3 over 2. Root 3 over 2. Let's try cos 60. Cos 60. Cos is ka. So that's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. One over two. We got any idea? What about tan 60? Opposite over adjacent. Root three over one. That's just root three, isn't it? Right, now let's try 30. No, this is 30. The only difference is going to be the labelling of the sides. Opposite, hypotenuse still, adjacent, right angle, hypotenuse. 30. Sine 30, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite, 1 over 2. Cos 30, adjacent, root 3 over hypotenuse 2 root 3 over 2 tan 30 tan 30 is opposite 
1 over adjacent 1 over root 3. There you go. Now we're going to look at one more triangle and that's going to be an isosceles right angle triangle. So we're going to try and construct that now. But first, I need to clear this away. Right, so let's have a go at making an isosceles right angle triangle. So that just means I've got one. I'm going to make a right angle here. So I want this to be a right angle. It's going to be the same length. And that's one. I could make it two. Two. But that would make it more complicated. So let's make this a right angle. So we've got a right angle triangle. Let's form the hypotenuse. Now I think this one's actually a little bit easier to do. Now this length, oh, it's not one, it's not two, it's somewhere in between. So let's pop that down there. Right, let's think about what we know. Right angle, 45. 45 just here. One, one. Ooh. Pythagoras, it's the hypotenuse. One squared, one squared. So that's two, root two. So this must be root two. Now, 45 degrees. Let's think about, so let's go tan 45 first. So tan 45, remember that's opposite over adjacent. Opposite, one over adjacent, one over one. Sine 45. Opposite over hypotenuse. One over root two. Cos 45. Adjacent. One over root two. Now, hopefully now, you understand the idea of how to work these out. Rather than just trying to remember them all off by heart. Don't try to remember them off by heart. Understand these triangles. So we just need to remember two triangles. Isosceles triangle, one, one, root two. You can work that out, you don't need to remember it. And the equilateral triangle, but actually on the equilateral triangle, it's easier to set all the lengths to two, just because you're gonna half one of the lengths. So, isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle, and you know everything. Now, we had a little bit of fun making this, and uh, I'll leave you with a little outtake. Wait, so the only difference is gonna be the labeling of the sides. Hypotenuse, opposite, 